Hello everybody, it's Sam here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about Mammoth Biosciences announcing a partnership, an official collaboration with the huge, huge, big pharma company, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. I want to talk about all of this in this video. Before we do that, like this video, smash that like button. That's all I ask from you guys. We don't have any merch. We don't have any products to sell, no courses. We just ask you guys to like our videos and subscribe if you have not. And if you have any comments, feedback, input, leave in the comments below. We try to read and respond to every single comment. So Vertex announced this a couple of days ago, and I completely missed that announcement, to be honest with you guys. And I'm sure some of you have as well. Uh, Vertex and Mammoth Biosciences announced collaboration to develop in vivo genome editing therapies for serious diseases. So a couple of points on that. First of all, Mammal Biosense is still a private company, as we've covered in the past. Also, they're not sort of, you know, obliged to disclose all sorts of details because one of them is a private company. So just by nature, you won't get the full picture of this collaboration, but you get some juicy details here. Second of all, this is an in vivo genome editing, right? CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex already has a partnership. They already have a partnership going for a couple of years. We know this from CTX001, which is an ex vivo partnership uh, genome editing tool, which is CTX001, which we believe in 2022 or 2023 will be the first CRISPR drug ever commercially available in the US. Now, putting that aside, CRISPR Therapeutics still has a partnership with Vertex for an in vivo approach, and that's what they have one of their pipelines, if you take go take a look at yourself in CRISPR Therapeutics website for cystic fibrosis, it is an in vivo approach. However, they're so early in that process that it's not even worth for me to bring it up. But, 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 in this case, Vertex looks like they're shifting to another company, which we have speculated. If you guys remember in our early videos earlier this year, we mentioned that big pharma companies it's like a game theory, right? They'll sort of be forced to partner with some of these smaller CRISPR companies. And we've also iterated the fact that it won't only be one partnership. It won't be a one-to-one -one ratio. That's sort of what we've seen so far, right? Regeneron with Antelia, then you have Vertex with CRISPR Therapeutics, and then you have these one-to-one -one relationships. But in this case, Vertex has now opened the spot, opened the platform to now partner with Mammal Biosciences, which is a completely different company than CRISPR Therapeutics. And actually, I'm just in awe of this announcement. I am just so happy for Mammal Biosciences. Unfortunately, it is a private company. So me and you, assuming you're not a VC or, or a private investor or you know an accredited investor, me and you, unfortunately, we don't really have a stake. We don't have meat in the game. But we all know that Mammal Biosciences at some point will have to go public. You can't remain a private company forever, especially now when you're closing these types of deals. If we take a look at this deal here, if we dive deep into it, zoom in a little bit for you to read better. Um, a biotech company building the next generation of CRISPR products, Cure and Detect Daisy today announced a new partnership to develop an in vivo genome editing for two genetic diseases using mammal generation CRISPR systems. We believe our novel ultra CRISPR systems have the potential to be a game changer when it comes to systematic and targeted delivery in vivo genome editing therapies, said Peter Nell, CBO and head therapeutic strategy of, at Bio, Mammoth Biosciences. The combination of Mammoth's unique technology with Vertex unmatched experience in serious disease research and development will only accelerate pro programs with the goal of researching reaching patients with a un high unmet medical need. Driven by its unique protein discovery engine, Mammal CRISPR platform consists of proprietary toolbox of novel ultra compact CAS enzymes. The small size of these mammal systems together with further optimized parameters have the potential to facilitate advanced delivery, which may increase the scope of in, in vivo genome editing. Okay, so a couple of notes here. First of all, we don't really know the actual two diseases that they're tackling. Uh, one may speculate from Vertex current pipeline, as if you take go take a look at it, you'll see that they already have a couple of diseases that 
they sort of want to trigger, right? We know that cystic fibrosis, they have something with CRISPR therapeutics. So you can, I'm assuming you can take that out of the equation. However, you have many others, obviously sickle cell disease you already have with CRISPR therapeutics, beta telcemia, but that's ex vivo. Keep that in mind, right? Uh, with, uh, with CRISPR therapeutics, there's type 1 diabetes, there's Duchenne, there's, uh, there's a couple of diseases that I think that could be one of those, but again, I don't want to start speculating, you know, there's so many diseases and that's actually one of our theses in, in this channel. There are so many diseases that there'll be so many winners. The total of risk market is so big. And of course, all patients are in unmet needs, right? These are diseases that are taking people's lives. These are diseases that are reducing people's lifespan. These are diseases that are extremely ex expensive as they are right now with the current alternative, which do not treat them permanently, which do not cure them, but just basically maintain some sort of status for them not to have a significant amount of pain. But that's very expensive. That is unmet for many patients around the world, especially around the world. And it's just costly, right? It's just, you got to think about that, right? It's, it's just scale of the game we're talking about. It's just another level, right? So under the terms of agreement, Mammal Biosciences will receive upfront 41 million, including an investment form convertible note and is eligible to receive 60, $650 million in potential future payment based on the successful achievement of research development and commercial milestone across the two potential program. And in addition, in addition Vertex will pay, will pay royalties on future net sales on any products that may result from this collaboration. So again, this news was announced a few days ago. A couple of questions on my end. First of all, you know, can we get a little more colors to like the details themselves? I'm sure it will get revealed at some point. Uh, that's my first thing. My second point is I would love to know uh, what is the percentage, right? So we often see that we even saw Vertex revise that percentage from 60 to 40 with 60 CTI 001, which is CRISPR therapeutics early this year, where Vertex will now own 60% of the program and CRISPR therapeutics will own 40%. So Vertex becomes a majority, although Vertex had to pay $1.1 billion with, of course, including a $2 million in there if FDA approved. So I, I'm curious to see what are the additional details here. But to me, my first thoughts here, this is amazing, guys. This is just not just for my biosciences, right? For the whole space in CRISPR. This was basically the thesis of this channel. If you remember er, in our early videos, I know some of our subscribers are from the early days. You guys remember this. I used to say, expect huge partnerships, right? These big pharma companies, they're looking in this space, right? CRISPR is all over the news. It's being said in documentary. It's being said by research development papers in academic papers, people are publishing more. There's more podcast episodes. You have this big institution like ARK Invest going all in with CRISPR therapeutics in some sense. Sorry, CRISPR technology, not CRISPR therapeutics. They are investing in CRISPR therapeutics, but also in TDI, being therapeutics, uh, and so on. So my advice to you guys, you know, again, we don't provide financial advice, is once mammal biosciences do come public, I honestly believe some of you definitely need to look into it. I think there are opportunities here. I called out the Caribou Biosciences before they went IPO, and you guys know I was right about this. Uh, I'm not going to take full credits of it, but just as a reminder, there was no YouTuber covering it. There was almost no one on Twitter or Reddit covering this company, Caribou Biosciences. And I'm telling you right now, my mode Biosciences closing this seal is huge. I think they are solidified themselves as quote unquote, the next Tesla of genomics because they're not just editing your genes with proprietary technology through efficiency and reducing off targets, but they're, they have a program called protein discovery engine. They have more than just genome editing. They have what we call diagnostics. They have even the hardware for the pandemic. It's something that Mammo Bansons is doing. I think they're seeing things differently. Again, there'll be many winners in this space. I just think this is amazing news. I'm curious to see what you guys think. I will end this video like this. I wanted to announce the Vertex and Mammal Biosciences official collaboration. Big news for the safe space. Huge victory for Mammal Biosciences. But ultimately, I am waiting for this company to go public so that us investors can get a share in this beautiful company of Mammal Biosciences. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below if you found value. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you found value. And we will see each other's 
during the week. And hopefully you guys have a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week once more. Thank you. Thank you.